Hello everyone and welcome back to Code and Chat. Today we're going to be doing this Aggie style. What does that mean? Well, these tutorials are specifically uh, directed at assisting my fellow Aggies, New Mexico State University. And so um, we're going to be doing FTP um, using the command line into the web server. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing you need to do is have a file. Um, you want it in a good location. And so I named this one Aggies. And if you notice in here, we have three images. Excellent. OK. So let's go ahead and open our command line. And the first thing we need to do is FTP into the uh, web server, which is web nmsu.edu. Go ahead and put in your username and your password. And this will um, go ahead and allow us in. And now what we want to do is take a look at our directory structure. And we do that with dir. Notice we have the public underscore HTML, that's where all of your files will be held. So we need to go ahead and change directory into public underscore HTML. All right, now we need to create a directory that will be used, or a folder that will be used to house our assignments. And so I'm just going to make a directory. I'm going to call it ICT. Your instructor will give you the proper um, designation. All right, notice that's been created. Now we're going to go ahead and transfer into that. Now we're going to go ahead and create a second folder. Once again, we're going to use the MKDIR. We'll call this one pictures. I can spell. And now we will transfer into that file. And now if we do a DIR, notice there's nothing in there. So the next thing we need to do is type binary, and that will put us into binary mode. Now, what we need to do is go ahead and open your explorer and go to the file that has your pictures or text um, that you have, and let's go ahead and put a HTML file as needed. So we can do that. We can just do, we'll do it this way. We'll open a new command line real quick. We'll do touch, uh, no, we'll do notepad, index.html, and close that, yes. And let's do the basic HTML. Remember, HTML requires an opening and a closing tag. Oh, I apologize, cannot type today. And then you will have to put some kind of header, usually, and then something related to your image. Image source equals, we'll just say one dot JPEG. Of course, you'll follow the instructions as needed. We'll make sure that we save this in our Aggies file. And make sure that you do save as type all files and save it as a dot HTML. Okay, great. So now we have those four files. What we want to do is type in M, as in Mary, put, and now we need to put the location or the directory path following that. And the easy way to do that is to go to your folder, click in here, and notice that if you, when you click, it shows you the full path, and you can just right click and copy that. Now you need to paste that in here. Uh, there's a couple of ways to do it, but the standard way is to come up to the top, right-click, go to Edit and Paste. Now, 
This is the Aggies folder. However, you still need to let it know that we need these pictures or these files. And you do that by putting slash star dot star. And that means any prefix dot any suffix or any extension. So this will grab all of the files in there. And hit enter. And notice that you get this little question mark and type yes. Now, if you receive this error opening local file, go ahead and type in yes again. And yes again. And notice that it says transfer complete. Now we're going to do that again. Yes. Transfer complete. Yes, transfer complete again. And it says now if we do the directory, notice we have one image, two image, three, and our index.html. All right, so all of the files that we transferred are now in the folder. The next thing we need to do is go to the web page and make sure we have access. You can go ahead and go to our site. And we'll do that. I'll drag this over real quick. And so that website is web.nmsu.edu slash tilde, your username, slash the folder, slash any subfolders, which we use pictures, slash. And there's the web page that we had just created. Well, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. Otherwise, if you like this video, like and subscribe and go Aggies!